From VOA Learning English, this is the Agriculture Report. Some weeds are strong enough to resist weed-killing products called herbicides. But researchers are finding natural ways to deal with these unwanted plants. Stephen Mursky is a scientist with the United States Department of Agriculture. In January, he went looking for weeds at the USDA's research station just north of Washington, D.C. He found evidence of pigweed in a field of dry corn. One pigweed plant was more than two meters tall. The scientist says pigweed takes water, nutrients, and light from nearby crops. The weeds can quickly get out of control. Each plant can produce up to 500,000 seeds. Many farmers control pigweed and other problem plants by growing genetically modified crops. Such crops are not harmed by the weed-killing product called Roundup. Stephen Mursky, however, notes that some crops may be resisting the treatment. He says the repeated use of herbicide has caused weeds to grow resistant to it. He and others are studying another possibility. Controlling weeds with other plants instead of chemical products. In the fall, they cover the ground with a cover crop like rye. When it reaches a height of nearly two meters, they roll it flat. The rye crop keeps the ground cool and builds up the soil. The cover crop stops some weeds from reproducing. Later, a machine cuts through the protective mat to plant the crop, which grows through the summer. Stephen Mursky says this could greatly increase production of organic crops without using herbicides. He says the method will not work everywhere, but where it succeeds, it offers farmers a new tool. For VOA Learning English, I'm Alex Villarreal.